Good morning. I just got back from the gym. I took a quick little shower and my hair is not hairing today. Well, it's not going to be hairing for the next couple of weeks because I'm trying to grow up my bangs and they're just at this really awkward length where I can't do anything with them. And I can't go to the salon because they're far too short and so I'm just going to wait, be patient until they grow out a little bit and maybe I can get like a short curtain bang situation. But for right now, it's going to be this very moppy situation. Um, I need to go to the mall today to return a couple of things. And in my head, I thought I was going to make money because, you know, girl math. But I realized that there's a couple of things I want to pick up. One of them I saw on, like, I think it was, like, an Instagram reel or a TikTok where, like, they were talking about Uniqlo, like, the basic shirts. And I've never shopped that Uniqlo. I don't really know why, but I've never really got in. But then I need some basic tops, like a white and a gray top, maybe. Because a lot of my um, white tees or like my baby tees are like they have graphic prints on them. And when I want to wear like, you know, like this cardigan, it's hard to work around it when there's too much print going on. And so I want to buy a couple of like solid color tees. And another reason why I want to go to the mall is because I think I mentioned before, but I've just been having like really blue and gray. Like it used to be days, but now it's carrying over to like two to three weeks. And that's like a cause for alarm for me because I don't want to stay in that place for too long. Because as human beings, I'm not all days are going to be good. I know that it's no completely normal to have bad days. But I think the important thing about having bad days is that you don't make it a permanent stay. Like it's okay to vacation in that like kind of gloomy stage for a while, but try not to make it a permanent stay. And I work from home two to three days a week. And uh, while I think that the benefits of working from home far, far outweigh the very little negatives I can pinpoint from like actually working at home because I'm a homebody and I'm an introvert. And so working at home is like ideal for me. But if I were to point out one little small negative aspect is that you're working at home alone and no matter how much I like my alone time no matter how much I like my house like I'm a human being I think I need some sort of social interaction that's not just happening on screen and um I don't like going out of my house a lot so unless I'm like not forcing myself to go out I will stay at home for a long long time and I think that slowly starts getting to me and I think that's a part of the reason why I've been in such a funky mood it's not the whole reason why i'll get to that maybe later but so for right now i want to go to the mall get go outside and get some fresh air people watch do some light shopping and maybe have a meal with myself who knows i'm about to make myself a sandwich so if i don't get hungry i'm not gonna eat by myself but eating by myself is on my bucket list for this year so maybe today will be the day who knows but yeah i'm gonna go to the mall and get myself out of this funky mood I realize that I clap a lot, but it just comes out. Okay, so I'm about to head out and I'm just gonna put on the finishing touches before I leave. Um, lip of the day is gonna be the Roman the Pomelo Skin. Let's put some on. I already have a little bit on, but it kind of faded throughout the morning. So, put a little more on. It's hard to do this on camera. I should have brought a mirror. It's all right. Just a little of that. And then my absolute favorite lately has been the Roman, the Glasting Water Gloss. Can you see like the little tiny shimmers? And it reflects beautifully on your lips. And I'm sure this is not going to show up too well on camera, but maybe I can show you better when I'm outside. But I don't know if the shimmery glossiness of the lip part is really showing up on camera, but... It's really nice. And um, next up, I have this little charm necklace that I got from, I think their um, website was Lola Oceana, something like that. But it's this cute little charm necklace, and I think the theme of the necklace was like luck. And it's so cute. There's like a little cat, and like a bow, a heart, four leaf clover, a seven, an acorn, and another heart. I've never really been a big like jewelry person, not because I don't enjoy it, but because I just, I'm very forgetful and I get very lazy to put it on, but I'm realizing more and more that the little details count. And this is just so cute and I'm sure that anytime I look at myself in the mirror, I'm just going to cheer up a little bit. So that's the necklace. And we can't really tell, but I know I have it on, you know? That's what matters because I'm doing it for myself, but very, very cute. And last but not least, perfume of the day will be Decool's um, Taunt. Oh, it smells so good. Ooh. And now I'm ready to go. 
I made it and driving never doesn't make me not anxious, but here we are. Shopping is done. Um, I bought a lot more than I expected. I had a lot of fun. It's been such a long time since I like actually took my time at the mall because whenever I go out of my house, my main goal is to just get back home as soon as possible. So I forget to really just take in and enjoy my surroundings. But this time around, I spent like, I think I got here at like 11 and it's like 1.30 now. So maybe like two hours at the mall. And I had so much fun browsing around and Oh my gosh, everything at Uniqlo that I tried on was amazing. And then the Pop Mart that I, I didn't even realize Pop Mart had like a physical store because I used to get like a couple blind boxes from them like online. This is what happens when you don't walk around. You don't realize what's like actually like around you. And I had so much fun and I got like shrimp by um, Target, which is the only reason why I'm not unboxing a blind box right now because I don't want the shrimp to melt. So I'm going to do that when I get home. Ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> Got back home and let me show you what I got. Um, the first two things are from Target. Um, I never buy clothes from Target. I don't know why, but I've always associated Target with like makeup and skincare and like snacks. And I've never really browsed through the clothing section. But I was going up the escalator and these like blouses were like hanging on the side, and so I like immediately went down and I tried them on. And they were so cute. Just these simple blouses. Like these are like great for summer. You can just throw it on and call it a day. I got it in two colors because. I, if I like something, I buy it in all the colors that I like, and this is a prime example. The next up is everything I got from Uniqlo, and I know it is quite a lot, but if you would allow me to make an excuse, <laughs> um, I have been doing a closet clean out, and I've gotten rid of like almost 30% of what was in my closet, and as I was like just skimming through what I was going to keep, I realized that I don't have a lot of like solid color basics. I have a lot of like striped or polka dot or a lot of like colorful things, but not a lot of like good quality basics and um sometimes when i'm trying to build an outfit i just want something that's like solid color so that i can like work around it and build around it and i don't have anything this is literally like my only white shirt that i have that has nothing on it and so i need more is the excuse that i'm giving myself why i bought this many things so i got four of their mini short sleeve t-shirts the white one, I got both the medium and a large because I tried on both in the fitting room. Medium, which is my true size, just was the perfect baby tee fit where I hugged on my curves. Then large had a little bit extra room to it, and I think depending on the occasion, I can go for either. So I got the medium and the large and the white. And then I got the large in the black and the gray. And I am most likely going to go back for my uh, mediums in both of these. And then... I also picked up this unexpected find. This is the the linen blend open collar shirt. And it, she's such a breezy, breezy shirt and it's perfect for summer. I can just throw it over like a t-shirt. You know, wear like cute printed pants and that's an outfit right there. And last but not least is the purchase that I'm most excited for. It's the blind boxes that I got from Pop Mart. And I got three and I probably should have only gotten two, but you know, I am who I am, what can I do? And I got, this one, the crying parade, and this is the potential pulls. The second one.
and the store was so cute and everything on display was so cute it took me such a long time for me to narrow down what i wanted and it's for today i'm only gonna open two i have um also this from a previous pop mart purchase i bought it online because i assumed that they were only an online store but they have a physical store so yay but this is the teletubby one and i'm so excited for this because i Loved Teletubbies as a kid and branching out from not just Sunny Angels to like any blind boxes now at this point. My favorite was always Poe and Lala and then what's the purple one's name? Tinky Winky? Dipsy? Is it Tinky Winky? And then this is Dipsy and then Lala and then Poe. But I just don't want the green one. But I feel like I got the green one. But it's okay because I have one more Teletubbies one and so all is not lost but. Gosh, the eyes do look creepy, but ah! And for my second one, I want to do either this one or this one. Hmm. This is more like cutesy funny, and this one's like cutesy cutesy. And I feel like I want to do cutesy cutesy today. And what do I want the most? Hmm, they're all really cute. So either this one or that one would be my top picks, but whatever I get, I'll be happy. Okay. Oh, is it like blind or is it not blind? Okay, I'm just gonna turn away. Oh, that's a mess. But I have a feeling this one's in the clear um, bag, so I'm not gonna look at it. And this one's covered up, so... What did I get? What did I get? Oh, which one is this one? I got the Love Train candy... candy jar. And it just goes right there. <gasps> How cute is this? Okay, let's open one more. This is the Sunny Angel, the Home Sweet Home. It's the one from their most recent collection. Out of all of them, I think either Baking Treats or Bubble Bath would be my top two. Um, I'm fine with anything, honestly, except for the gardening. I really don't want the gardening one, and I please, please don't give me a Robbie. I know I don't want it, I just don't. And I'm probably gonna get gardening. Oh, it's already open. That's interesting. Okay. Okay, okay. Anything but gardening and Robbie. What is- Oh, I think it's gardening! Wait, give me a second, you guys look first. I feel like a cactusy situation. Ah. What did I tell you? I got gardening. This is my luck. I've been staring at this for the past like minute trying to get myself to like him and I'm gonna be real honest with you. I don't love him. I think I can learn to like him. But because you know like he's kind of cute sprouting from his little pot right there so. And I think that's it for my haul because three blind boxes is more than enough and I need to clean up all this mess and I'm very very hungry so I'm gonna make myself some lunch. I'm just snacking on some of the candies that I got at the candy store today. I haven't been here in a couple of years, but I picked up the same things that I normally get. And my favorite out of all of them are these chocolate covered gummy bears. And then at a close second, it's these sprinkles, little chocolate discs. I love anything with sprinkles, especially these round sprinkles. <gasps> the texture is amazing. And I got, I always get gummy frogs as well. This is humongous, but they didn't have the tiny one, so I just got one. And I got three peach rings exactly. And all of this was like $4, which is not, I mean, it's not cheap, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So now that I've had some time to come off from the high of opening all those blind boxes, I have taken some time to just sit down and reflect on how today's outing has affected my punky mood. 
Um, it would be a lie if I would say I'm 100% better that I'm all in the clear because realistically speaking, I don't think me going out of my house for like a couple of hours is going to make that much of a big difference to my mood. But I will say I do feel a um, little bit lighter and I feel like I got a nice big gulp of like fresh air, which is always a nice feeling. And I think I mentioned before, but a part of the reason why I was in the funky mood is because I think I've been like in my house too long and I need to go out and like socialize with other people, even if it's just me walking around in a mall. But that's not the only reason. I think there's a couple other reasons that I am working on pinpointing. But um, one key reason is that I've done a pretty good job of not doing this, but I don't, I've started doing it recently where I started comparing myself to other people comparing my life to other people and once I do that I start feeling very very inadequate I feel like I'm very very far behind and I feel I don't know I just feel like I feel like a failure you know that's a very harsh word to use but yeah that's how I've been feeling recently because I don't know I'm 26 and I still don't know what I want to do with my life I don't have like a solid career path I'm not in a relationship I'm not married obviously um I don't have kids nor do I plan on having kids in the future and I think the main thing is I still don't know what I want to do with my life which is you know at 26 is kind of concerning for me and I know eventually as long as I keep working hard and like I stay focused on my goals like I'll figure it out but I don't know it's just I've been lost since I was like 16 and I'm 26 now like 10 years later and I thought I'd have a lot more answers than I do now and it's kind of a scary feeling like I was fine until like 24 but then as soon as until I was 23 but as soon as I hit 24 just like this like rush of anxiety and like this like I this pressure to like figure my life out started hitting and then the older I get, the harder it hits. And now I'm almost 27, which means I'm almost 30, which means I really need to get my life together. And I don't really know when that's going to happen. And everyone around me seems to have it all together. Or I know and I know realistically that's not true. Nobody has it 100% together. But how I perceive them to be, I feel like they have it a lot more together than I do. And people around me are getting married. They're having kids and etc etc and I'm nowhere near that and I don't even think that's what I want in the future in terms of like um getting married or having kids but like conventionally um like you're expected or people expect you to be in a relationship or like be married have kids buy a home have a set career path and all of that and I have none of that and I've been comparing myself to everyone around me who has that and it hasn't been easy and I keep telling myself the same thing I've been telling myself the past several years that like everyone has a different timeline. Everyone has different definitions of what they define success as. And, and normally that works, but I don't know why it hasn't been working these past couple of weeks. I feel like that's what's getting me so down, being lost and confused all the time. And I really wish it would end. And because I don't know when it's going to end, that fuels my anxiety. And yeah, but there's nothing I can realistically change right now for me to change my situation. All I can do is just stay focused and just continue to move forward and just, you know, take life as it is. I don't have a solution for myself, which is why I think it makes it feel even worse. But I just need to keep reminding myself that I'll get there eventually. Um, I'm just a little bit behind, which is not a bad thing. And yeah, and that's it for today and I'm just gonna relax now I'm almost not almost but like I'm finishing up my next crochet project I'm making a sweater and I love the colors that I chose out it's this pink and light pink and I just need to work on the little ribbing on the neck and I have to make the sleeves as well and then we have ourselves a sweater I will say I probably got the measurements wrong. Um, whenever I make like a new crochet project, the first one always comes out a little wonky, which is why I end up making two of like the same projects because the first one is wonky and the second one comes out semi-decent. And I feel like that's normal for a beginner though. So very happy with how it's coming along. I'm just happy with the color choice, you know? That makes everything better. So I'm gonna work on this for a little bit and I still have some work I need to finish off. And I'm going to call it a day. I Surprisingly, I woke up at like 5.30 today and I have a lot of energy. I tried running for the first time today. 
And I saw something on Instagram, I think, where someone was talking about how they've noticed that whenever people hit like their mid 20s and after, like all of a sudden they take up running as a sport and they also want to do marathons. And I thought it was hilarious because uh, from a couple of like weeks ago, I've started to want to run too, which is very unexpected for me because I hate running. And I try not to use the word hate a lot. I want to see it for when I actually mean it. But I mean it, I hate running. I hate everything about it. Like sometimes when I'm on the treadmill, I know it makes me sound very intense, but I start internally screaming like, ah, stop, get me out of here. Like, oh my gosh, stop, I wanna do this. Like I literally scream it inside my head because running used to drive me absolutely bonkers. Like it made me feel, I don't know, I just don't like it. I don't like the huffing and puffing. I don't like my boobs flinging everywhere despite me wearing like a compressive sports bra. I just didn't like anything about it. I just did it because you know, cardio, heart health, great. But I haven't ran for the past, like like since, bef um, since the pandemic started, I haven't run at all. I used to start off my workouts by running a mile and man, oh my gosh. I think that was like the younger 20s of me because I can't do that now because let me tell you today morning, I was like, you know what? I've been wanting to run. Let's do a light little warm up jog before I start like um, strength training. I ran for four minutes and then I was huffing and puffing. I ran for four minutes and the speed was like 6.5 and I don't think that's that fast, but four minutes and I was wiped out. And I just walked the rest of the six minutes for my 10 minute warm up. And I thought, you know, if I run for 10 minutes, that's like almost a mile, so I can do it. Nope, four minutes and I tapped out. That was my max. And I have to go again tomorrow and I'm probably gonna try again. And maybe I'll hit four minutes again, but I don't know. Just something I thought I'd share, something new I started doing for myself. And I'm just gonna leave off here. I'm gonna start crocheting now and just unwind before I have to work again. So bye bye and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.